Alright, so let us first discuss yung basic concepts ng distillation before we proceed further to our lectures in separation processes. So let us begin by discussing simple distillation process in a laboratory point of view. Okay? Mas mapapadali yung ating pag-aaral ng distillation if we are really familiar dun sa mga basic concepts niya. First, let us discuss what is a distillation process. You will find several definitions of distillation sa mga textbooks. Distillation can be defined as the process of separating components of a mixture based on different boiling points. And it can also be defined as a method of separating mixtures based on differences in their volatilities in a boiling liquid mixture. So, they are basically the same. And if you look at our textbook, even yung mga chemistry references natin, you will find this really familiar illustration. Well, this is the setup of a simple distillation process. Okay, so saan ba natin ginagamit itong distillation? Well, as we proceed further sa ating mga discussion in distillation, we will find that there are lots of uses ng distillation process. But for now, let us mention some few. Distillation is used for many commercial processes such as the production of gasoline, distilled water, saline, alcohol, paraffin, kerosene, and many other liquids. Gas may be liquefied and separate. For example, nitrogen, oxygen, and argon are distilled from air. And it is also worth noting that a plant that performs distillation is called a distillery and the apparatus used to perform distillation is called a steel. And since pinag-aaralan natin ngayon is yung basic concept ng distillation, then let us discuss the three general steps for simple distillation process. So ang first step natin is the conversion of the desired liquid from a mixture into vapor. And that happens in this portion right here. We have our solution here in which with the application of heat being vaporized. The next step is the condensation of the purified liquid and that happens here in our condenser. As we mentioned earlier, our vapor is produced dito sa section na to and it enters our condenser where there is an exchange of heat happening and it converts our vapor into liquid. And then finally, we have the collection of the condensed liquid here on this part. Well, alam namin na hindi ito madaling ma-visualize kapag binabasa natin to sa mga libro. That is why we prepared one video na magpapakita kung ano ba talaga yung nangyayari sa distillation process. No? So, this is a laboratory setup of a simple distillation process. Okay, so let us now look at this video. Well, this is what we called a distilling flask. And it holds yung solution na paghihiwalayin natin yung mga components. And hindi lang nakikita dito sa ating setup but we have a thermometer at the top. And this is the condenser that we mentioned earlier in our presentation. And what we are using in order to connect itong ating distilling flask, condenser, and thermometer is what we call the distillation adapter. And then finally, yung ating condensed liquid will be collected here in our receiving flask. Alright, so now let us explain what is happening in a simple distillation process. Once we apply heat, our solution will start to vaporize. And para mas ma-explain natin siya ng mabuti, let us use this to represent our vapor. Our vapor will pass through our distillation adapter papunta sa ating condenser. And dito sa ating condenser nangyayari yung heat transfer between water and our vapor. So itong hose na nakikita natin dito is kung saan pumapasok yung ating water. And the other hose naman is kung saan lumalabas yung ating water. So, walang nangyayaring contact between our water and our vapor. It is just purely exchange of heat. Para mas maging malinaw, isum lang natin siya ng kaunti. Alright, so ito yung ating condenser. So, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, dito pumapasok yung water at dito lumalabas yung water. So, of course, yung pumapasok na tubig natin is mas mababa yung temperature or mas malamig. At yung lumalabas naman is mas mainit dahil ma-absorb niya yung heat coming from our vapor. Okay, so let's say our vapor is already here and there will be an exchange of heat while our vapor pass through our condenser. At kapag bumaba yung temperature ng ating vapor, it will be condensed into a liquid form. 
let me show you that. So, ito yung pag-pass ng ating vapor sa ating condenser where it will be condensed into a liquid form. And then, finally, magpo-flow yan papunta sa ating receiving flask. Okay, so going back dito sa ating setup, we know that after the condenser, we will have a liquid form of our separated liquid. Then, it will pass through papunta dito sa ating receiving flask. And this separated liquid is what we called our distillate. Okay, so this is a typical setup of a simple distillation process. So, alam na natin itong simple distillation process. Pero meron din tayong tinatawag na fractional distillation process. So, ano yung pinagkaiba ng simple distillation into fractional distillation? That is what we are going to discuss in our next video. So, thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na i-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.